Tales from 4chan Special, and on Works IT Part 3. Huh, B, it's the IT guy from yesterday. <coughs> Day 25, even though I'm shit at IT, one guy thinks because I am IT, I am super techie. He asks me what my favorite browser is. Google Ultron. Is it like Chrome? Shit, that's what I meant. Yeah, but better, it's it's what NASA uses. Could you download that for me? Oh. Yeah, no worries. Literally start shaking the mouse back and forth so fast you can't see the cursor. Then control alt delete it into task manager. There you go. All done. It looks like Google Chrome, but it's really Ultron. No one else can tell. To this day, he still thinks he runs Google Ultron. Day 26. Some woman calls me over. It'll just take a sec. It's, it's super simple. Shit. Asks me to hook her up to a new printer. Uh, she she hops out of her chair and lets me sit down. I forget how to how to add network printers. Her, her, and a, her and her friend are talking right over my shoulder, staring at the screen. Is this going to take long? Uh, I fake a deep thought as I stare at the screen with one hand on my temple. And on I have a deadline. Is this going to... What the fuck? Both of the women are startled. There's a virus on this machine! And I just storm off like I'm pissed. Day 27. Learn about a remote access tool that the whole office uses. Decide to haunt the old nice lady from before. I randomly move the mouse for a few hours. She she struggles to do basic tasks. She comes and asks me for a new mouse, a obliger. Hook it up and leave. Look back at remote tool. Mouse is moving again. She opens up Word. I begin to type. Hi. No response. Hi. Hello. Who is this? No, it's, it's death, sad face. Day 28. A guy asks me to burn him a copy of a DVD for a presentation. Holy fuck, I know how to do that. Burn it for him. March back down to his office, proudly holding the DVD high in the air. Woman tries to stop me. Hey, can you... Not now. I've got IT business to attend to. And the guy's burned DVD. This might be one of the first things I've done right here. Tear in my eye. So proud of how far I've come. I am true IT. Five minutes later, I get a call. Hey, there's there's nothing on that DVD. Day 29. Give new hire her new laptop. Nothing is fucking set up right. Forgot to hook up her Outlook to Exchange. No worry, she, she did it herself. Cool. She asks me if I can type in the admin credentials so she can download some social media tool. Sure. Fuck up the login credentials like three times and get locked out. Have to have to unlock it from my machine. Can't figure it out, but go back because I, I left my Game Boy in her office. She starts making small talk. So... Where'd you go to school to become an IT person? She's fucking on to me. Try logging in once more to admin account. Uh, it's locked out still. Yeah, you know what? I, I think this Hootsuite extension is a virus. I, I don't want that shit on my network. Day 30. Here's where shit starts to really hit the fan. As you know, I had set up a Bitcoin mining ring in the server room. It was, it was eating up all the bandwidth. The whole network was barely operational. And now because of, because of my ineptitude and blaming things on viruses, people started a rumor. That the, uh, that the whole network was being attacked by a rogue hacker group. After lunch, I get pulled into a meeting by, uh, with all the execs. Uh, the jig is up. Um, as you know, we've been experiencing a multitude of issues with our network. I'm fucked. From the lag to the viruses, so fucked. We want you to head up the investigation and find out who's doing this and why. <laughs> I am the fucking dirty cop on the force who's tasked with finding the dirty cop. I am the fucking law. Day 31. Tell people I'm running server calibrations. It's like dusting for fingerprints. No one's the wiser. Show this one middle-aged guy with a beard how to use a web app. Go to favorite it for him and put it on the put it on the toolbar. No notice all of his favorites. Big titty housewife, pajama butt slut, Mexican girl on bus. Mouse over them as I mouth read them. He he starts freaking out. Begs me, begs me not to tell. Why shouldn't I? Oh, I'll buy you lunch! <laughs> oh, got ten chicken nuggets. Day 32, for... For some reason, the entire office is having to fill in a captcha every time they Google anything. Have, have no idea why, uh, why this is happening. Google Ultron guy asks me if this has to do with the virus and if he should be backing up his data. First, always back up your data. He, he nods to my, my tech savvy. Second, it's a security measure I've put in place. There are... there are robots afoot. He nods again like my word is law. Day 33, Ultron guy blabs and tells everyone about Google Ultron. Now everyone in the fucking office has a SharePoint ticket asking for it to be installed. 
A few of the more competent people are asking me what the fuck Google Ultron is. I just, just give them the finger guns until they walk away. After spending an entire day going from desktop to desktop pretending to download Google Ultron. Literally spend three to four hours pretending to download software that NASA uses. One girl asks me if this is even legal. Are you a cop? She reports me to HR for criminal-like behavior. I've already explained to HR what Google Ultron is. HR thinks it's real. HR thinks NASA uses it. HR tells the NARC to stop interfering with important technological matters because the NARC doesn't know anything about IT like me. <sighs> doesn't know anything about IT like me. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things, and if you want to watch more of this special, click up in the top right corner. If you want to watch Tales from 4chan, click up in the top left corner. If you want to watch something else, click in the top, the bottom top corner, the bottom left corner, and I'll just fuck it, I'll put something there. You'll click it, it's gonna be a surprise. Enjoy it. Whatever. Enjoy it! I believe in you.